we ch so I discovered something in the last video was that you know the little picture that we picked up of Liz Liz that picture was not in my first run of the house since the update it actually appeared in the second run so I'm not losing my mind it appears that the archival notes appear as you unlock other things so I don't know what the order of it is but all right so now that we know Liz um, Carter had a temper built in 1902 we don't know folks activity Okay, I am purely guessing on that. Uh, let's leave our green that one. This one, let's go inbox. Percy thought someone had broken it. Okay. Poking sound. Items being thrown. Okay. Let's try this. I kept missing the choking sounds. Alright. Oh, we're not quite done with the girl go. And I, one thing too, I guess for myself, just a reminder to myself, this game is under construction. There is items that haven't been implemented yet. Uh, part of especially these ghosts, you can see that it said under construction. So I need to remember that, that I am not going to get everything in the house. Any house. But it's still fun to explore and see where, it, what direction it's going. real quick make sure that there's no notes hiding in between the cars not to look these lights are acting funny I should continue investigating.
Uh, all right, more in suicide. We got a new note. We are going to leave and we're going to come back with that evidence. I have a feeling that's going to tie into getting that guy to manifest. All right. See what I mean? We've been through that room tons of times and we never saw the note. So I am assuming as you trigger one thing, you trigger the note for something. Lewis noticed that her son was not the same person after coming back from the war. Robert witnessed horrible things while he was away at war. His unit was in the thick of a horrendous bloody fighting. Once he came home, the trauma was something he could not escape. He was filled with nightly flashbacks and would wake with feelings of terror like he was still in the trenches. His family saw the immense him returned home without many of his friends as they were left behind buried in the soil of a foreign land. After a few years of being home, he became dependent on habits he could not break away from. His family tried to console him, uh, counsel him, but ultimately could not alleviate his pain. In 1961, at the age of 37, he gave in to the sadness and took his own life in the very same garage he and his father had bonded over. Um, on, let's see, 1961 police report, uh, on December 9th at 5.02 a.m. received a call from Paul Connor stating that he found his son, Robert Connor, hanging in their family's garage. Upon arriving at the scene at 5.28 a.m., I observed Robert Connor's body hanging from the garage door's opener track. I determined that emergency services were of no use and decided to call for the coroner, Mary Byler. I discussed with Paul Car uh, Connor, who was especially upset. He thought he was to blame for Robert's death because he was always berating his son for being a drunk and needing to get a job. Uh, Lois Connor, Robert's mother, appeared to be in a state of shock and could not communicate. She was not violent and not obscene, but could not be settled down. After Coroner uh, Byler arrived, she pulled Louise from Robert's body so she could conduct an on-scene investigation. After interviewing both Paul and Louise Connor and discussing with the coroner, I determined on the scene that Robert Connor acted alone and that no foul play was involved. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Front closet. Basement egress to be sealed. sealed. The basement egress is kind of interesting that it was sealed. Get closet off master bedroom or bathroom. Front and facing. Go back. Uh, Smoking. We're just going to click that just for now, just so it's something you have. All right. Let's go see if we can get a picture of Connor. I will walk through the house again to see if I can get um, something with Connor or uh, with the ghost in the kitchen. Let's walk through the house again and see if we find any notes. 
I do not have any, uh, any idea where the notes are appearing. I, I haven't looked into anybody else's playthrough of this. I am simply guessing, uh, based on where the ghosts are appearing. I am assuming that's where the notes are kept. And since there's two kitchens, I don't know if they mean this kitchen or the upstairs kitchen. I When we were investigating the little girl, I felt like there was activity in the upstairs kitchen as well, but... gonna be a kitchen i just don't want to miss any notes that could prompt more info you know i'm not seeing anything. garage because i expect with what we triggered it's going to be all about connor tonight These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. Hi, Connor. So that's the answer to how to get the ghost to manifest, is you do have to find their evidence. Got it. So the poltergeist one, I'm not sure what to do about that one. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Oh, wow, he... that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. I know we heard that one before, but that one... Does pull up my heartstrings. Do you know why I'm here? Do 
How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Wow, that sounded like a response. That is very interesting. Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay, I think we got gold. Uh, it goes pretty quick when you have the correct evidence. Wow, that's great audio evidence. That's extraordinary audio evidence. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. There's ghost screams that are happening in the background that are very subtle, and I only hear them when I turn the mic all the way up, but the recorder isn't picking up on it. So it's just an ambient sound. All right, well, I think... That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. I got goosebumps. I was just about to say, I think we got what we need from, from Connor. Let's uh, see if we can find any evidence for the ghost in the kitchen. Oh yeah, that's right. The... There's a light up there. Can I see that? That ghostly wail that I keep hearing. I'm being nice and closing the doors. <laughs> I guess I haven't really looked much on the outside of the house. Okay. I'm going to check one more time through the house. See if I can find evidence. If not, we will leave. That was a pretty short investigation, but like once we got the evidence for everybody, 
And there, Connor showed himself right away. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Creepy. See anything evidence worthy? Got a Swiffer over there. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Oh, oh never mind. Okay, so see the shadow that the peppercorn is making on the plate? I thought for one second the plate was broken. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Okay, so we know that the bastard, uh, the bath, the master bathroom has been remodeled. Same kitchen sounds over and over again. Keep recording them. Or anything in the closet in here was also. Remodeled. Hi, teddy bear. What are you, or bunny? What are you doing back there? It doesn't pick up on Hey. Hey. I 
I'm looking for evidence. <laughs> I, I semi-suspect we won't find any, that I will have to come back again. Like, I think you have to get the pictures of the one ghost and then come back to trigger the next note. But I'm not, I don't, I don't know, I'm just purely guessing. Let's head out. A light on up in the top garage there. I want to know what it's about. I don't know if these will help me at all, unless many families, many memories, maybe. Ooh, we got a church as well. All right, Tammy. Isn't what I meant to do at all. Let's try this. Uh, kitchens, uh, shadows moving around, remodeling. Okay. Okay. Last run through of the house. I think anyway. Yeah, it's whatever, whatever this is. What do you think this is? I mean, it looks like a old fashioned kettle or a pot to me or a type of barrel, maybe. It, when he's doing that beginning discussion, he, the camera is locked. And for some reason, I still think I'm in a loading screen. So part of me wonders if that image or, you know, like what they're hinting at, is it a relic of some type or a item that the poltergeist is attached to that we have to find? And it looked old-fashioned, so it might be in the basement. And if we go in the basement, we're going to run into the screaming ghost. Just... Oh, there he is. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. I know. 
creeps me out every time. So there was an egress that was sealed in the basement. Tied to anything. The door that didn't open, right? Yeah, it didn't open. What do you think an egress is? Uh, like a cubby. So what was sealed down here? See anything that it's my attention. Now, I'm gonna fix the basement floor a little better. Playing with the light up there. Alright, all right, we'll go check it out. Stop for a second down here so in one of my videos i thought i thought it was like right here <laughs> there was like an urn that actually looks slightly similar to the image that we see the shadow image uh in the loading screen but i don't see it a part of me thinks maybe that was my imagination Thank you. That's going to be hard because we're by all the appliances. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Ooh, he's also hanging out in this back closet. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Oh. Or not. Or mine. Is it Carter that's flipping the lights on in here, or is it the 
poltergeist that's flipping them. I am a bit confused. Apparently, Carter's turning the lights on in the uh, bathroom, walking through there. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Not reacting. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Oh. Hmm. These temp readings are unusual. Make up your mind, dude. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Finding any new evidence. Oh! I actually saw that plate being thrown. Thank you. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Let's head up. We checked all the rooms down here and didn't find any notes. He keeps, I think it's uh, Carter who keeps closing that door. 
I'm a bit confused of which ghost is which. I mean, clearly the kitchen has its own poltergeist ghost. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. That's not made any sheets or whatsoever. You see? And the, uh, let's see if I can get it to... Okay. See in the top right corner there, right above the uh, recorder, there's two dots and a line. To me, it looks like an upside down meh face. of all the things to notice. Beds are made. I'll keep that as audio evidence. I know, we've already heard it was the little girl, but I'll take the audio evidence. Wine. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Ooh, because that was hella creepy. I didn't turn that as audio evidence. I didn't turn that off. <laughs> I couldn't get it to work. I feel like I'm missing. You know what? I want to check one thing. Go back upstairs. Pause it. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Oh, Mr. Bunny's still back here. What are you doing behind the door?
That's extraordinary audio evidence. Isn't that extraordinary? It really just sounded like a pot rattling. If you want to believe it's extraordinary, we'll roll with it. Conrad, you and I, we have, we have two different opinions on some things. You threw Ooh, it. That is eerie audio evidence. And disappeared. dude. Hey, if you're hanging out in the kitchen, are you the one that's throwing the stuffs? Or is there two of you hanging out in the kitchen? Wow, it had enough energy to make a mess? This with the recorder evidence supports a poltergeist being present. He sounded so excited. <laughs> EMF data. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating.
Nothing paranormal about these EMF readings. Because mm, it was against the furnace thing. I'm just trying to get more uh, EMF readings to get the gold. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. All right, I think we got our gold. All right, let's head out. Still says more uh, investigations. Okay, so we got two new locations, uh, and I promise next video I will definitely do one of the new locations. Because let's take a quick look here. Yeah, so there's more than one picture and more notes. Okay, so it's a pot. It was definitely a pot. All right. Well, thank you guys for keeping me company, and I'll be back soon with another one.